How's it going guys? A little uh, different scenery here today. I'm at my buddy Evans. I work with Evan. He's a real good guy. I'm just uh, down here going to make a few videos at his place. Uh, Evan uh, has been into four wheelers for a long time. As you can see he's got a Grizzly a year newer than mine. He's got a set of, a real nice set of Alka shocks on that. And then he just bought himself uh, the Wolverine X2. Yeah. So anyways, today we're going to make a couple videos, but the first video we're going to do is just going to uh, use the uh, machine integrations wheel uh, bearing greaser for the Grizzly. I ordered it a while back, never ended up getting it, uh, using it. Evan has all the right tools, plus he wants to do his Grizzly. So we're going to grease up those bearings and uh, then we'll just take it for a little test drive. Love that sound. It squeaks a lot, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is the bearing tool greaser. My machined integrations. Come on and focus. Anyways, it just slides right into your bearing and just pump grease in there. Basically, there's a little notch right here that uh, holds your wheel nut on. Yeah, that work better. It's a little notch right here you're going to have to take out. And then, uh, it's a lot of force, but you got to get that wheel nut off. We're going to go... down to his buddy's place and get a socket big enough uh, to fit his air gun and then should be easier to get off. Alright so you have to take the 12 mil bolts off in the back for your brake out. Can we try to turn the wheel a little bit more? Make sure you leave these loose too, because when you put the when you put the press on, yeah. you don't want the thing to fly off, right? Okay. You want to break down, and then you take it the rest of the way off. So the bolt there, uh, right at the bottom of the screen. Just make sure you leave that on. Just thread it on a couple of threads. He was saying so when you use the tool to disconnect it, it doesn't go shooting off underneath. I got some stainless steel on there. I thought that one popped out. Did it? Yeah. Just some loose in it? Yeah, it wasn't in there tight at all. Oh. See how tight this one is. Yeah, that one's, that one's already loose. So the bottom one popped out? Yeah. The top one's not popped out though. So we got this tool here. Well, I shouldn't say we, it's, uh, it's Evans. It's for uh, disconnecting the. Uh, the uh, ball joints. I'll zoom in and get a good close up of that tool working. And you just bought that thing at Princess Auto, eh? Yep. 20 bucks? Something like that, yeah, it wasn't real much. I gotta get myself one of those. For you guys that don't, oh, there you go. You guys that don't, may not know, Evan has his own YouTube channel. I'm gonna put the link below. He's got a bunch of old videos, but he's gonna start making some new ones, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now we have the ball joints all disconnected, top and bottom, or upper and lower, whatever you want to say. Just gonna screw the wheel nut back on. Oh, okay, that's that's not bad at all. Just had to give it a little couple taps on the axle to break it free, and it should slide right out, and it did. 
Your wheel bearings are inside there. Like I said, I got the tool from Machine Integrations. Order online, real good, real easy to deal with. Nice guys, actually. Made in America. So yeah, you guys can uh, go check them out. Shove her. Should shove right in. It might even go in farther than that, does it? No, it's bot it bottomed out. Oh, bottomed out, okay. Shove her in until she bottoms out. So do you have to clean this? So just for the, uh, we just changed out uh, grease. I just went to Canadian Tire and bought some marine grade grease. It says it's for uh, wheel bearings and stuff for boats. So should keep the water out on a four wheeler. I'll do the pump. One, two, three. It should start coming out in the back, I think. Four. Seven. Oh, I hear it. Eight. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out? Yeah. That's it. Is it coming out in the back though? Pull her out, we'll give her a spin. Okay. Spin her up 90 degrees, because the hole is only going to a bearing in a certain spot. Okay. So when you pull it out... And... Oh yeah, she's coming out in the back. Okay, she's good. Yeah, so that's about eight or nine pumps. Better than the... Uh, I've seen a guy online do it. He had a... Uh, I think it was a Polaris razor or something, and it had like took like 13 pumps. Never put enough grease in a grazer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, all Polaris guys are getting mad at that. Right. So now I just got her filled back up with grease. Feed the axle back into the hub there. basically put everything back on the same way you took it off. Good opportunity to clean the brakes out. We're just tightening the ball joints back up. And obviously don't forget about the little cotter pin that goes in the bottom. All right, so last step, just gotta tighten on the uh, main wheel. Let's go through the Fort Rooker Dirkus. Yeah, it's a good unit of measurement. Line it back up to the notch. Oh, the notch lined right up, did it? Yeah. It's got to be tight, then. So we're just going to do the other front wheel. It's the exact same as the one I just showed you, so we're going to do it the exact same way. Uh, I'll get a few clips from when we start doing the, the back wheel there. If Evan would just hurry up and get this done, that'd be great. Just took uh, those two 
19 mil. Do it from the back side so you don't think the I might as well grease those too while we're doing it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can hear it coming up here. You wanna spin it? Eight. Oh no, she's full. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want to leave her caliper on. Yeah. You can pull everything off and do it from the back side. Should we grease those now or do you grease those? We'll, we'll, we'll grease it once we get it on. Get it back in. You want to hold that? Like yeah, that? I got it. Excellent. I'm going to get a rag like that off. So, yeah, if you don't want to take your uh, brake caliper off, you can actually grease it from the back side. Might save a few minutes anyway. Just take those in just a hair mm -hmm. to get them started. Okay, good. I can push pull, them through. Pull back a little bit. Okay. This one. Oh, this guy. There we go. Good. Yeah. Oh, just your pivots, because that's where the grease, that's where that grease nipple goes into anyway. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys couldn't see or weren't zoomed in enough, we just greased the, uh, you call those the pivots, did you? I'm not sure what they would call them. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is 17. 17. Yeah, the back's way quicker. I will say this too, uh, it's a lot easier working on your gear when your stuff's clean and not just full of mud everywhere. Hey Evan? <laughs> a lot easier than cleaning when it's just full of mud. So yeah, spend the time, clean your bike, and uh, it'll be a lot uh, easier to do some maintenance. All right, I hope you guys like the video. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it helps out some people learning how to use the uh, machine integrations grease tool for the Yamaha Grizzly. Uh, thanks to my buddy uh, Evan who had all the right tools and he made a quick work of this so I just was trying to keep up. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys learned a few things and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.